Is this thing on? Hello? Anyone out there? Well, hey there, buckos. Welcome to the video. So glad that you have chosen to join us today on this extravagant adventure in which you will learn great things, wonderful things. Really, what I want to do with this video is to tell you something. First thing I'm going to tell you is come follow on Twitch. So we stream every day, uh, Monday through Friday, and that's going to be uh, from 6.30 Eastern time until whenever we just get bored and run out of things to do. So I'd love for you guys to come, hang out, enjoy that. I'm having fun. I think you'll have fun too. We can have fun together. We can be fun buddies. So uh, this video, I wanted to talk about um, my favorite Blitz teams, why they're my favorite Blitz teams, why I use them, why I favor them, and uh, yeah. So it seems like a lot of you guys just really want to, you got a lot of stuff about Blitz, you like Blitz. So we're going to talk about Blitz. Like I said, I just want to talk about my favorite teams. Um, a lot of people seem to be interested in knowing that sort of stuff. I'm interested in sharing it. I want to see what you guys think. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your favorite Blitz teams are because I would be curious to know what uh, what you guys like have for your favorite team. See if they're similar to mine. See if they're different. Um, yeah, go from there. You know, some uh, some viewer creator interaction. You know, that's the best part about Twitch. So if we're talking about uh, my favorite new Blitz teams, we have to definitely talk about Sinister Six. These dudes are awesome. They're a lot of fun and uh, just really getting to enjoy them. Um, it makes uh, the endless amount of defenders fights a bit more tolerable because um, we all know how that is. Always Blitz. When you're playing, uh, playing Blitz, you want to fight defenders, defenders, or uh, defenders. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, I like them. They're great against City Heroes. Of course, you guys already know how Sinister Six is. Um, but they're a lot of fun. Uh, I really enjoy them. I don't know necessarily that they're a meta-defining team or they're going to like be amazing all the time. But I like them. I think they're a lot of fun to play with. And really, that's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, truly really what it comes down to is uh, you want teams that are fun. Um, and this team's good, right? They've got Dispels. They've got Taunts. They've got pretty big damage they've got turn meter change like uh, turn meter manipulation um, they got slows they got everything deflects you name it they got it you know what I'm saying so I just I like this team a lot uh, they're fun and I really haven't had much trouble playing them either I think it makes it a lot more fun when a team wins a lot so right out the gate I won a lot with these guys so they're a lot of fun if you're looking for another blitz team I think that these guys definitely uh, fit the bill of being one that you could consider. Next team, I assume that a lot of you guys use a very similar team. My favorite part about a brawler's team is that you can mix and match so many characters. You can put Spider-Man, Miles, you can put any of these characters. The options are really pretty, pretty vast. Um, and that's the fun part. So like I can have my brawler's team, you can have your brawler's team, you can have your brawler's team, you can have your brawler's team. You and they're just, they can all be different, but they can still be like at the core of the same thing with Miss Marvel. I think that's really cool. Um, this team is pretty good. I win, I would probably say like maybe nine times out of 10 with them. Um, but yeah, a very cool team. Very cool that you can swap characters around and just kind of put in different stuff. And um, it's a lot of fun. I mean, America Chavez to me, uh, she's all right. I don't know if you guys have played her too much. I'm in the process of uh, leveling her up right now just to kind of see because I know a lot of people seem to like her um, who have her at higher level. They say that she's great with this team. Uh, her special ability can deal a big damage if you have her at higher level because she gets a, a pretty big additional percentage of damage per hero brawler ally, which as you can see with my team, that this is all hero brawlers. So she gets the big bonus from that. Um, yeah, so one thing that I think is interesting that's just different, um, and I've always been curious about this, when with Gamora's uh, special and ultimate abilities, if she uh, takes somebody out, she'll get to go again. Um, but it's interesting if she doesn't take them out, but then uh, Miss Marvel assists and she takes them out, she doesn't get the additional turn, which is interesting because like with Black Panther, if somebody assists off of him and they finish off the kill, then he does get it. So I don't know. I've always wondered if that was intended or just something that just kind of happened. i uh, just curious, of course. It uh, doesn't really matter. Not too big of a deal, but I've always wondered about that. The good thing about this team with running these specific characters is uh, America Chavez can dispel, uh, Captain Marvel can dispel, 
and uh, that's good. A lot of times it's hard to clear off the enemy buffs with just these random mishmash teams. So this is good. They work good. They do that. Um, again, they work awesome for Blitz. I don't know if I'd use them for anything else, but they work awesome for Blitz. I don't know how many of you guys use this team, but you need to use it. You have to. If you're not using it, it's amazing. It'll obviously cost you uh, a little bit of charges uh, to refresh Captain Marvel if you're using her somewhere else, but and I guess War Machine and Iron Man for power armor, but it, it's worth it. This team is amazing. This is one of my favorite teams in the whole game. They just blast everything. And so this team was pretty popular before uh, the whole power armor team came onto the scene, before Falcon and uh, Rescue were added, even before just uh, before Rescue was added because they didn't really piece together until that time. But uh, this team is really good because it just kind of takes advantage of the military tag. And so the only person who's not military is Black Widow, and she's just there, of course, for her classic like stealth next to Captain America so that people can't chain stuff. Um, you know, they're, they're kind of peas in the pod, it seems like. So this team is just good. The way that they kind of work is uh, you go, you can blast somebody with Captain Marvel. You know, you guys know how that works. Then you can taunt with Captain America. What that will often do is the energy will go to Iron Man and War Machine, and then they can, Iron Man can always use his AOE right off the back. War Machine cannot usually because it's his ultimate, but then they can just use both of their alts and so you can pretty much, if you're fighting a team of squishy people, you can wipe them out immediately. If you're not, you can wipe out typically a couple people or they're just in really bad shape moving forward. So, I mean, the team is just, they do good and they go quick, quick and hard. I like them. If you're not using them, well, then you need to use them. You got to use them. This is a super like mishmashy team that I really uh, enjoy and they're usually pretty uh, pretty resilient. Um, maybe around like 8.3, they might struggle a little bit because they're not gonna take out like Brotherhood or Shield teams, but pretty much up until that point, uh, they're really good, and so I can explain it to you a little bit. Um, Yondu, I just really like. Um, he works because he's a villain character. If you notice, everyone's a villain character in this team. That works with Kingpin's assist. That just helps. Obviously, you can imagine how this team's gonna go. Loki's gonna go first. He's gonna do his mind control. And then typically it's just, you know, you go from there. Uh, the big whammy with this team is that uh, with hand sentry, you put everybody under stealth. Then that way everybody's under stealth. Kingpin can use his alt ability, which gives the offense and defense up. And then Winter Soldier can use his alt ability, which pretty much I've seen it hit for over 100,000 before. And mine is at uh, tier 10 with uh, four red stars. So you can really just like knock the crap out of somebody. So even if you get stuck behind like a Thanos or something, he can, I mean, that's a huge portion of his health bar. Uh, Yondu's awesome. His AOE with offense up, I've seen do 40 to 50,000 before and an AOE. So that's pretty crazy. His minions are right. I mean, they're just kind of fodder. Um, but then like with, that's another bonus you get with this. You get Yondu's minions, you get Loki's minions, and you get Kingpin's minions. It creates a lot of distractions to not take out your team. Overall, uh, this is just a personal favorite. It's not necessarily one that I'm gonna say like, this is the greatest team ever. But I like them, I think they're a lot of fun. So that's up to you. This team, this team, I already hear, I already can read the comments. Where's Colossus? He's not in here because my Colossus is weak. How many times do I have to tell you that? YouTube. Anyways, um, this team, I mean, so this team's awesome. I mean, obviously, as you can tell, I have Mordo in here because I have him at seven red stars. So he just kicks butt. I think he's like 80,000 power at this point. Phoenix is obviously awesome. So that's why you have Storm and Wolverine because they can assist off of her and they can call her to assist. That's amazing. Ultron, I mean, Ultron just murders stuff. So that's why he's on the team. This team is really, really good. Uh, ne it never loses, um, <laughs> as you can imagine. So this is obviously not gonna be a team everybody has access to, um, but this is kind of just like where I found their places in because I don't have a full incomplete X-Men team. I didn't want, I didn't really know what to do with these three X-Men, which I had to be pretty strong. I think uh, Phoenix is 54,000, Storm is like 38,000, and Wolverine's like 35,000. So, you know, I didn't want to put them with like a 10,000 Colossus and you know, whatever. 
So that works. Um, they're a good team. They're a lot of fun. Like I said, it never loses. Ultron can win most Blitz matches on his own, so it's just kind of overkill. I thought about putting uh, Ultron with Sinister Six because a lot of people do that, but being that my Ultron is so strong, I think he's around 54,000. It's kind of hard to put him with the Sinister Six team. That total is like 150,000 power. It just doesn't work out. It doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, if he makes up a third of the team power, <laughs> it's not gonna work. Yeah, that's why I put so. him here. Uh, maybe if I get Sinister Six a bit stronger, I'll put him with them. But in the meantime, I like him in this team. This team is a lot of fun. It's good, it always wins. So it feels good, you know what I'm saying? Like it feels good, it's fun. So I would love to hear what your guys' favorite teams are. If you've ever tried these ones, if you like these ones. I try to not go on like the standard like Oh, these are just normal generic teams. That's why I didn't put like Brotherhood or Shield because I love using those. They always win, sure to win, good Blitz team. But this video is about my favorite teams that I enjoy playing. So that's what we're looking at. That's what we got. Really, I think out of all of them, I think the military team is my favorite. The one with uh, Captain Marvel, War Machine, Iron Man, Black Widow, and Captain America. I think that's my favorite. Just because, I don't know, it's different. You don't see it a whole lot and I don't get to use it in other modes that much because that team's all broken up into other things. So... That said, guys, I'd love to hear what your favorite Blitz teams are. If you want to leave a comment down below about that, I'd love to check them out. Maybe I can try some of them out sometime. We could try them out on the stream, you know? Come through, tell me your favorite Blitz teams. If I'm not already using them, we can do them on the stream, you know what I'm saying? So, appreciate you guys. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. We're almost at 3,000 subs, which is really exciting. So, I thank you for all of the support that you guys have given me so far. And I'm um, looking forward to even more from here on out. So, appreciate you guys, and we will talk soon. Yeah, yeah!